number nine most elusive runner of all time, Dickie Pope. Once upon a time, this hard, scrabbled horseman was one of the fastest thoroughbreds in pro football. Dickie Post is one of the forgotten players, which is too bad, uh, because he was exciting. I mean, he was fun to watch. Post is 5 feet 9 inches, 190 pounds. His teammates call him Mouse. The Mouse turns Tiger. The open field was the open seas for Dickey Post, and the 1967 AFL Rookie of the Year charted courses only he could navigate. Dickey Post had great traffic burst. He could be in a glut of defenders, and in an instant, he could go from second gear to fifth gear and be through it. By the time I was step, step and a half, I was almost full speed. Then you're starting to look to where, wherever the daylight is. Some of his runs, you just sat back and, you know, run that again. Or oh, do you want to see the block you made mixed? No. I want to see Dickie. Dickie Post was like a little man, and you can't get the son of a gun. He is just all over the place. It was almost like watching a crab sort of scuttling from one side of the field to the other. Our number nine elusive runner never flashed his claws. In fact, this frightened rabbit of a runner wanted to avoid contact altogether. I was more of a nervous runner, paranoid. It's, it's not a style that anybody would want to copy if you can find somebody else. It consumed so much energy by the half, I was totally exhausted. He came into San Diego and was an immediate success. And he decided to try to capitalize on it, open a clothing store. This shirt with a tie? you got to be kidding. Really? A guy came in about an hour ago and had on Stars and Stripes belt and really looked nice. Looked like an old Indian. No Indian head. Straight from the reservation, Oklahoma. Being from Oklahoma originally, I never felt comfortable in California. I tried the, the type of thing that they enjoy doing down there. I had a good time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it was a nice party. It seemed the hounds would never catch this hare. But they began to nip at his heels, then took bites out of his legs. In those days, the running backs took a tremendous beat. We had one guy who just cold cocked him, caught him from behind. I remember the crowd going, Whoa. We didn't think Dickie Post was ever going to get up again. And I don't know if you've ever seen that silly cartoon called Beetle Bailey. Sarge regularly beats up Beetle Bailey and leaves him in a big mess. And that's what Dickie would look like. The beatings eventually took their toll. Our number nine elusive runner only lasted five years in the hard knock life of pro football. Dickie flashed bright as long as he could, and then he was gone.